In this experiment with spectrometer, we are going to determine the dispersive power of the material of the given prism for different pairs of spectral light. Here, the source of light is mercury lamp. So, it will have vibrial colors of wavelength. When light falls on this prism, it will undergo refraction and get deviated from the direct beam. Along with this, we can see that the various component wavelengths split up into individual components here. This is due to the fact that the refractive index and in fact the velocity of various wavelengths are different as far as this prism is concerned. When a white light is passed through a prism, it splits into its component colors. This phenomenon is called dispersion. This is what is happening in this experiment. We will set the experiment for minimum deviation position for each and every individual wavelength and measure the minimum deviation capital D as explained in the previous experiment. Our first aim would be to measure the angle of prism A and then next aim would be to measure the angle of minimum deviation D for various colors of light so that we can evaluate what is the refractive index for each color by applying the equation sin a plus d by 2 by sin a by 2. Once the refractive index for various colors are calculated, we can move on to the dispersive power calculation. Dispersive power for the violet-green combination is defined as angular dispersion by mean deviation, that is, dv minus dg which is the difference in angular dispersion by mean deviation would be dv plus dg by 2. Now making use of the relation that deviation d is equal to mu minus 1 into a. You can interpret this equation as mu v minus mu g by mu minus 1 where mu we have taken as the mean refractive index of violet green color. So on substituting this over here, we can calculate the dispersive power for violet green region. This calculation for dispersive power can be repeated for various combinations of colors. The experimental procedure for finding out the dispersive power would start with finding out the angle of the prism. In this experiment, we will be using the white light or the mercury lamp as a source. The angle of prism will be measured by measuring the two reflected ray positions when light is made to fall equally on both the reflecting faces of the prism. We will mount the prism with the base facing us and so that the light falling on the prism will reflect from this face and here also the light falling will reflect on this face. So we will move the telescope onto this side and take the reading of the reflected ray noted down in the observation column, then rotate it over to this side, measure the reading of the reflected ray from the second face and note it down so that the difference between these two angles will give twice the angle of prism. The readings of the two reflected rays will be entered over here and the difference between these two re telescopic readings will give us 2a double the angle of the prism. Now we will set the prism for minimum deviation of violet. When you want to set it for minimum deviation, what we have to do is observe the deviated ray then rotate the Bernier table in such a way that this deviation angle becomes minimum or in other words, this deviated ray should move towards the direct beam as far as possible. For this purpose, rotate the Bernier table in a suitable manner so that you will reach the minimum deviation condition. Now take the reading of Bernier 1 and 2 of this refracted image then turn it to the direct position and take the vernier 1 and 2 reading of the direct image. So here we have to set the prism in such a way that 
the light enters the prism and gets refracted onto the other side. So the angle of incidence should be kept as acute. As a hint or as a tip, I would suggest if this is an equilateral prism, then it is better to keep one of the reflecting faces facing us so that you can be sure that the angle of incidence here would be acute angle. Turn your telescope and look out for your refracted image. Your spectrum would look like this. This is the violet region, blue region. And now this is the green red region of the spectrum. Now that we have observed the video spectrum, we can set for minimum deviation of the violet light at first. So observe the violet spectrum through this telescope. Now clamp the telescope and then rotate the vernier table in such a way that this deviated Violet light moves towards the direct. So if this is the direct image, direct ray, this is the angle of deviation D for violet. So you have to make this deviation angle minimum. That is you should get your refracted image closer to the direct image. So with that aim in mind, rotate the vernier table in such a way that the right image moves towards the direct. So observe this violet blue region or violet line. Violet ray moves towards the right side, that is towards the direct. Now the violet light is moving towards the right, right and right again. Oh, now it has got retraced. So before retracing, I would like to stop it once again. It goes right, right, right and now it has stopped. This is my minimum deviation position. So stop it here. Now the prism is in a minimum deviation position for violet right. Now take your you vernier 1 reading and your vernier 2 reading. Now you want to know the direct reading also so that you can calculate this minimum deviation angle. For that, release your telescope, put it in direct position clamp it with main screw use your fine screw for fine adjustment then take your vernier 1 reading and vernier 2 reading so enter it in your tablet column for violet vernier 1 vernier 2 these are the refracted msr vsr and total and this is a direct msr vsr and total so the deviation minimum deviation d would be difference between the two readings and take the average of vernier 1 and 2 and denote it as your final D. Now repeat this for the various other colors. Blue, blue, green, green, violet 1, sorry, yellow 1 and yellow 2. Every time you calculate the minimum deviation angle for the various colors. Once D is known, you can calculate your refractive index. With the help of this equation, mu is equal to sine A plus D by 2 by sine A by 2. Once the mu for various colors are found out, then we can find out the dispersive power omega Vg for the violet green combination as mu V minus mu G by mu minus 1, where mu is the average of mu V and mu G. This calculation for dispersive power can be repeated for various combinations of colors.